Okay. Um, I do end up buying a lot of linens, both vintage and sometimes just randomly. Um, this is a little throw pillow cover, a little slit in the back, hand cross stitched, vintage. It was not right side up. Um, those actually sell pretty well. Um, I'll probably list that on eBay and eventually Etsy. I have trouble with Etsy listing just because there's a lot of, they ask a lot of questions. Um, this round table cloth, I don't even have a round table, but I'm probably keeping this because it's my colors. <laughs> it's not really like, I have a tray that's those colors. I like it a lot. Uh, this was something that the very kind lady gave me. Uh, she put this in my cart while I was off buying, or while I was off looking for more weight. Um, she's very nice. They're very soft. Almost new sheets. Maybe new. Maybe new. This is pretty killer. I was not a huge fan of this, but this was my demographic for sure. This is from the 90s. Uh, it's an NC no strings attached throw and there are quite a few of them out there but they also sell really well on ebay i think i saw them like 20 to 60 maybe my dog is just making himself comfortable hey no no Lay down. Lay down. This is another throw blanket. It's really lightweight. Um, that might just be something that we keep. I don't know. This is a pretty amazing Roper Western shirt. Um, I just like that color. And it's like new. And it's possibly vintage. I don't know a lot about Roper but it's cute. This is another thing that I went back and grabbed when I needed weight. Um, everything I grabbed when I went back and needed like three more pounds was really valuable or not super, but like this is a like new Land's End kids coat, like like new. Um, it's really nice. I don't know what size it is. It's a large 14, 16, or I keep it for my kid to grow into. I didn't look that up very carefully, but I think I probably did quickly. I'm going to guess 20 to 40. I don't know. That's a wild guess. These are some crazy vintage dresses that I love, and I know they're crazy. If there's ever anything that you're like, try that on and make another video, definitely comment, and I will definitely try it on and make another video, but I don't want to waste y'all's time if you don't want to see it. Um, this is pretty long. It might be handmade, like very well handmade, um, because the stitching is like slightly irregular. Anyway, I'm very much into it. It kind of reminds me of like the row. I'm going to try it on whether y'all want me to or not. Um, this one is also vintage definitely handmade um and i just kind of liked it for some really strange reason it's a full length velveteen olive green dress with lace ruffle sleeves and i bought it and i'm gonna try it on sometimes i just buy things because i have to save them because they're not garbage and they're going toward the garbage area. Let me do that other vintage one real quick. This is gorgeous. Super pretty beading. It buttons up the back. It's fitted. You guys, they were gonna put this in a trash compactor. But I got it. Ha. Uh, this is a, br okay, there's not a lot of vintage coming up. So I'll talk about brands a little bit more. Um, this is BB Dakota. It does not sell super well for me, but I really liked that style of dress. 
this. Um, there is a flaw here, but also I think it's a pretty easy fix on a day in the future where I want to fix things. So look for that next year. Um, this backpack is very cute. It's also a little dingy. I don't know that brand, but it's just, it doesn't, doesn't weigh very much. So I grabbed it. This is very dingy, but I was not going to let that one go either. Uh, here's a vintage blazer. Um, it's like a houndstooth cotton almost. I don't know that brand, Daniel Hetcher, 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 but it felt really nice and I just liked it. So we'll see. This is kind of actually gross. The, um, this is sticky, not too sticky, but you know how that can get on vintage, but it had this super cool collar little like knit sweater collar, vintage soccer football jersey from somewhere in Mexico. I don't know about that either, but it's just another vintage thing that I can't let them hurt. Um, okay, so I recently stopped selling kids clothes on Poshmark just because I didn't like the way I ended up having to share it and then it was messed up. It's just my Poshmark, I like to see things in a different way and I wasn't selling much kids clothes but I still sell kids clothes on eBay and these little snow pants had a pretty good resale value I don't remember what it was but um Rothschild and they are like new so I'll just send those somewhere colder <laughs> this is a Robert Graham shirt I did not know that it was Robert Graham when I saw it probably should have but uh, I just thought it was really cool. It needs to be steamed. I've already washed it, I think. Um, I haven't looked that up, but I know it's a good brand, and I like it. Uh, these are weird. I don't, I'm assuming they're for football, Under Armour. I'll usually grab uh, stuff like that at the bins and just try to figure out what it is, and that's a good lesson. But I'm going to bet they have some resale value. This feels very scientific. <laughs> I think this is a brand I don't know. Yeah, Grand Slam by Munson. Munson wear. Uh, it's vintage. It's super soft. I love sweaters. I'm a sweater junkie. I'm gonna buy a vintage sweater. <laughs> this is maybe the only other thing I grabbed in that I need heavy stuff. Uh, and this was a surprise for me. This is Leif Nelson, I think was, yeah, Leif Nelson was the brand. I honestly grabbed it because it felt like soft, not gross, and I knew it was going to weigh more than a pound, uh, but the resale value on these was crazy good. Don't remember off the top of my head, because like I said, I'm not familiar with it, but definitely if you find one of these in good shape and it's at a good price, I would definitely look up comps for it because... They were high. Uh, this, this is already listed. This is a Zara Basics linen dress. Super cute. It's got pockets. It's got these little pleated cap sleeves. Zara doesn't sell consistently for me. Um, but again, it's super lightweight, so I'm not going to not buy that at the bins. <laughs> Just not gonna not buy that. Uh, but Zara is not one of my like main brands. Um, I got this because I love penguins, and that's good because it's also flawed, and I did not see that. Um, like on both sleeves, I think. Yeah, there's way worse pulling on that. Uh, I'll probably keep this for myself, and I might try to cut the sleeves off. But it's adorable. It's adorable. I'm just gonna pull this avalanche thing. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. So scary. Um, here's some stuff that had tags already. This is, I believe, Sacred Threads. I can't get the tag to work. Um, anyway, I think I have a couple of Sacred Threads items. 
I just liked the colors on this and it's not my personal style at all but I do like having stuff like that in my closet for sale. Uh, I never buy Levi's and I was telling a bunch of people that I never buy Levi's and this time I bought some Levi's. They are, they were asking $8 at the regular Goodwill. I think they're 501s. Where does it even say that? 511s. They're 511s. I finally bought some Levi's. We'll see how they do. Probably I can't sell them. Um, I don't think I, yeah, I don't know this brand of leggings, but I am trying to pick up more leggings. Outdoor Voices. They're really heavyweight. They feel nice. Um, I'll probably take my sweater shaver pillar to the seams really quickly. Um, this is, I have never seen military in a 5XL. Not only that, but these are the Airborne, U.S. Army Airborne, and they're like parachute material pants. Um, I'll almost always grab military stuff because I like it and so does my kid and then we just kind of figure out if it has resale value. Hmm, what kind of zippers? I don't know what those do. Um, anyway, yeah. If it doesn't have any resale value, we just kind of put it in a costume box for him to wear someday. Which is fun. Uh, these are worth New York. And I don't think they're worth very much, but they might be. Um, if these fit me, I'm keeping them because that's my color. If they don't fit me, I'll list them. I'll let you know. Um, I don't, I don't, I think I probably bought these because I'd never seen that Gap label. And sometimes I'm like, I just want to go find out more about that label. So these are an old Gap label. They're really, um, not like a heavy hot, but like a thick woven. And I kind of liked them. They're cuffed at the bottom, like real 80s style. I liked it. <laughs> These are new with tags, American Eagle, looks like skinny, sort of cart, no, not cargo, skinny chinos, skinny chinos. Um, this is Lafayette 148. A lot of resellers talk about this brand a lot. Um, those are cute. Uh, I have some, I think, in my personal closet, but I don't think I've ever resold it. Um, I don't see it a lot. Those are so soft. I don't know what those are, but look out if you are a size 12, because they are soft as heck. Look how big my pile is. Um, I don't know this brand either, Sisley. It's just a really lightweight skirt, and I thought a pretty sort of poppy color. Ugh, I bet this skirt doesn't sell because I love it so much. This is a loft skirt an eight petite or it would be staying with me because I love that pocket. Um, I'll probably go ahead and list this but some of it I'm not going to be in a rush to list because it's sort of wintery. Um, actually I don't see anything like that. Sometimes I do just kind of set stuff aside that's not seasonal uh, because I won't be motivated to list it. There's another loft skirt. This one's a size 12. Cute little Grosgrain ribbon waistband. Uh, looks like that's going for about $12 to $20. Sometimes if I've already looked something up, I'll write it on the back of the tag. Also, sometimes if I'm at a regular thrift and everything has a tag, I'll write what the item was and cut all the tags off at once and then do my inventory from that thing. If that makes sense. I've been meaning to post about that system. Um, I do not know this brand. It looks like EP Pro. It's a golf skirt. Um, I bought this because of the color and because of the pockets. And I like sportswear. Preppy sportswear in particular. <laughs> these look like, yeah, these are uh, actual military issue. Camo. The ribbon ties at the bottom. I love them. I'll always buy them. Ah. 
Uh, I did not find the other All Saints boot, but I did find an All Saints sweater. Um, I don't think I've ever found All Saints at the bins before. This was probably, yeah, this was my first time. I do find it at my regular thrift stores though, and generally it is not marked up at all. So I don't know what it's like at your thrifts, but mine definitely have brands that like, it just does not, flies under their radar and they don't price it up. And those are the things that I make my profits on. <laughs> um, this is a Gap Outlet, I believe. Yeah, Gap Outlet tank. Um, and I just thought it was really cute. I don't know what it'll sell for, but I will be happy to list it. <laughs> and that's all that matters, right? Uh, this is Jones New York, which is not a brand that I normally pick up, but I do pick up gold and animal prints. And that's a cute little dolman sleeve sweater. I don't know what size this is. This might stay with me. It's an extra large. We'll see what it looks like on. We'll see. Um, this is a vintage Esprit tote bag. It doesn't have a huge price uh, resale value, but if you see anything that is just the spell out of Esprit, definitely pick that up, especially like the tote bags I saw when I looked up comps for this. We're going super duper high, like really, really high. So, um, just that portion, but big right there is money. So look out. Also, this is cute and a great color. So whatever. Uh, this is listed. This is really hard for me not to keep, but yeah, I do not need another striped sweater. It's a little Tommy Hilfiger, very soft Pima cotton. Yeah, Pima cotton blend. That's already listed. This is already listed. This is another loft skirt. It's a medium. It's got cute little pockets and it's silk. I love it. This is not listed, but it will be listed soon because it's already photographed. It's from the Gap. Um, it has some pulling, but I just made sure to photograph that. And I'll, wait, did I even show it to you? Yeah, right there. Um, and put it in the listing because overall you really cannot tell. It's very wearable still. Um, these are amazing. This is from, what's the brand called? Colorado Threads. These are super soft leggings. Um, they, not all of them, but a lot of their leggings have photographs on them and these are their Red Rocks. I might keep these, but the resale value on these is like 20 to 40, I think. So definitely keep an eye out. That's their logo. Um. Yeah, they feel great. They feel really soft, like those like buttery leggings that everyone's selling, but um, they're more like, they have like more compression, like a real athletic one would. Uh, I do not know, I don't know what brand that is, but this is some sort of athletic material crop top that I felt like buying. I'll look it up and let you know how that went. Um, here's some vintage stuff that like not my style but I'm just gonna save it while I'm there because I like the print or whatever. Um, stuff like that I just list on eBay or Etsy. I don't bother putting it on my in my Poshmark closet. I don't sell a ton of vintage there. And also I tend to price my vintage really high because I just want the right person to buy it. I'll take offers on it for sure. Uh, this is by Sunny South Fashions Dallas. Again, this is not my style, but I liked the colors and I liked the buttons. You know, somebody's going to like it. I also have a theater background, so I see like costume value in a lot of clothes. Um, and I've sold like, sometimes you sell something and you can tell like it's going to a television show or whatever um and it's never the clothes but that's always what I'm hoping is happening sometimes uh this is lucky brand it's really cute um again this is not my personal style but it's got some really cute details and great buttons and it's in good condition oh the pile is falling 
Um, this is a little awkward, but it's very cute when you get it shaped together. Free People short sleeved sweater with a little belt. I have not looked up comps for that. It's got some bins junk on it, um, but it's very cute. Might be, yeah. That's vintage Free People, I think. We'll see. Um, uh, this brand, I only know from having it myself. Um, it's the Ralph Lauren Denim and Supply. This cardigan was just an excellent color. It's, I think it's a linen blend probably, uh, and just a really cute shape. That might stay with me, especially because I don't think the resale value on that brand is super high. I don't know. Let me know if it does well for you. This is a Lacoste v-neck sweater. I honestly don't know if that's vintage or not. I don't, I don't know Lacoste labels very well. Um, the oversized logo makes me think it's not vintage, but it's very cute. It's in pretty good, dis in pretty good shape. There's like darkening in the pits, like pit stains. Probably work on that. But overall, looks good. Um, this is, oh, I would have never guessed that this was a Patagonia shirt, but it sure is. Uh, it also looks very new. Um, and it's got this drawstring at the neck, little peasant top. That's really cute. Anyway, I hope that sells well. I love finding Patagonia. I never find it. Um, why is this happening? Okay. This is amazing. This is a DKNY leather shirt. Like leather. Leather shirt. I love it. It's a, what size is it? Extra large. And it's incredible. <sighs> Sorry, just taking a moment. Um, let me do this stuff. This is, yeah, and then there's one more pile. Cool. Um, again, I don't sell kids on Posh anymore, but I'll grab it. This is a really cute little sun hat. I think it's from the Gap. Yeah, Baby Gap. This was a little Bowden kids dress that I thought was adorable, or Baby Bowden, sorry. Um, Hannah Anderson is a really great brand. I'll always grab Hannah Anderson. It sells pretty quickly. I think that, yeah, this is a Hannah Anderson as well. That might have a flaw, but again, it, it still sells. Um, Koala Kids, I've never seen that brand, but holy crap, those are cute. Um, this is a cloth diaper cover. If you shop at the bins and you find these in good shape, uh, you might wanna pick them up because I was a cloth diapering mom and got like very into the community. And these have a crazy good resale value, like crazy good resale value. So always pick up baby underwear if you see it. Um, I do not know this brand, but it's so cute. Margarita. <laughs> it's so cute. Uh, this hat is new. This hat is new with tags from, it looks like Dillard's. I don't know what brand it is. Premu. Premu Collection. Oh my god, it's adorable. It's so soft. It's so soft. This is padded. Sorry, I just yelled about it. Um, I don't know this brand, but I saw these and grabbed like maybe one more. It is called Wonder Suit. It says Bond's Wonder Suit. And the prints on them were just too cute. And I'll look them up, but they seem like they're nice baby clothes. This is another baby gap with the cutest little collar. Ah uh, this is a baby sling. This is another thing that I wouldn't know unless I had a baby. Uh, these, it's just what it sounds like. You put it around you and you put your baby in it. Uh, this doesn't have a tag, but it looks professional and I will measure this before I sell it. 
because they're usually sized like obviously people are sized um what is this brand rags this is a little rags bodysuit the size on that this is very european this is a two to four t bodysuit um so yeah definitely european i'll look that up oh this is a little vintage handmade felt vest i'll sell that on ebay or etsy um junk food is just like a personal favorite brand resale is like all over the place i usually just honestly buy it to keep uh, but i always pick up star wars and i only sell it if it's too small for my kid uh, I grabbed a few sheets today, or today, last week. Uh, this is not vintage Care Bears, but it is somewhat collectible Care Bears. I think it's from, like, the 2000s. Um, and I, I just have a weakness for, like, character sheets in general and saving them from the trash. This one is a vintage Care Bears sheet. Uh, this is a fitted sheet, actually. And it's adorable. Twin. This is another vintage sheet. I think this one actually might be from the 70s. I don't know. It's a Bambi sheet. It's so soft and perfect. I like sheets, y'all. Uh, this is a bed skirt, and I actually grabbed it. Uh, initially because I thought it looks like the there's a Ralph Lauren print that looks just like that and Ralph Lauren bed skirts sell very high so if you see one of those grab it uh, but I, I found the tag while I was still at the bins and realized it wasn't Ralph Lauren and still bought it anyway because I thought it was pretty and I'll look up comps on that and let you know is that it no one tiny stack left okay this is, where is this from, Gap? Where are you from? Yeah. Just a cute little pocket tee. Uh, this is Johnson Motors, Inc., which is from Lucky Brand, I think. Pretty sure. Uh, those have a pretty good resale value. This is the thing I have a million of. Um, it's Isabella Rose Taylor. These are t-shirt dresses, and it says blank canvas right here on the back. Um, and she, I found out the last time this item was in a video, I didn't know what it was. Uh, she is a local Austin fashion designer who was, I think, the youngest person to ever show at Fashion Week. And our bins are full of those shirts. Um, this probably will not go up for sale as Chicago Bears Mitchell and Ness shirt. Uh, I am not actually a Bears fan, but this is in not great shape. And in 2016, when the Cubs won the World Series, I made a commitment to the universe to wear all of Chicago's teams if they won. So I'm collecting. I have Blackhawks and Bears. I guess I need bowls. Uh, this, sorry. That was long. That was like a moment. Okay. Uh, this is an almost new Obey long sleeve girls shirt or women's shirt. Uh, I don't pick up Obey all the time. It's not like one of the brands that I sell a ton of, but I kind of like it personally um so if the price is decent like the bins i will pick it up because it sells okay and i don't pick the like really gross Ugh. uh this is another <laughs> this is an another item that the super nice lady gave me so that i would make the discount weight which actually did save me a bunch of money like adding i think i ended up adding 10 more pounds with her and my contributions um, and it was still like $17 cheaper than it would have been. Uh, oh, here's two more Isabella. Uh, honestly, I have not even listed one of these. I'm sort of collecting them at this point. Uh, but the reason I keep picking them up is because they're super soft. I like them and I like having multiples of items that I can 
list once and sell multiple times. Uh, this is Star Wars Muscle Tea. Honestly, we'll probably end up keeping that here in our house. It's an extra large, but it's a muscle tea. Uh, I found a set of pajamas in two separate bins because I'm awesome, but I didn't find an All Saints boot. Uh, this, I think, is a Lucky brand. Was it Lucky? Come on. Yeah. A uh, Lucky brand pajama set, and it's in great shape. It feels, honestly, it feels new. Like, the elastic is crisp. Crisp. What did I do here? Did I just find two more of these? Oh my god, you guys, I bought so many of these this time. I just kept grabbing them. Well, good for me. Um, I found one of these before at the bins as well, but it was not in such great shape. Uh, that's just a thing that I bought. That was my last item. Was that? Oh, that's hilarious. Okay, guys, well, I have two of these t-shirts for sale. Um, if there's anything that you guys would like to see in videos, please comment below uh, if you have any questions about the items. If you'd rather I talk about something else during these videos, let me know and I will happily do that. I never really know what to do. Thanks for watching.